So let's talk about uh, the song, uh, Joe. It, 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 it's, a, a, I think, a little bit different sound uh, from most of the uh, cuts on your, your most recent album. Tell us a little bit about Control Burn and where that came from. Yeah. So Control Burn is um, one of our original songs. And like I was saying before, when we kind of ride this double track as a band where we play traditional folk material, we also play original songs that we write. And the original songs can range from sounding very much like the folk material that we interpret from where we're from. Um, but some of our original music is also completely our own and is influenced by like what we said before, how we grew up playing punk music and emo music and indie rock. So we kind of have these like this bipolar sound, which I love. And like maybe it's not the best thing for the industry, like looking out for us because we don't have this like solid track. We're very ADHD. But in a set, you can hear us play a fiddle tune from the 1800s. That is legit from our home county. And then you can hear us play a song that we wrote like two days ago that is not a fiddle tune. That is very much from the ilk of like, you know, indie rock from the last 20 years or the last 10 years. So Control Burn is, yeah, a single that I love. And it is a song we wrote two years ago. And where we grew up in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey, which, you know, New Jersey, again, it's like this super dense, crowded, small state. But somehow... There is a 1.3 million acre forest reserve that is very desolate in the middle of our state. And every year they burn the woods uh, to help, you know, assuage forest fires later in the summer. So every year, cyclically, as we grew up, there'd be this time of year where it'd be a sunny day, but there'd be smoke going past your school, coming through the windows or in the bus when you're going to school, or you'd be playing outside. And there'd be like the the light would turn from, you know, bright sunlight to this like hazy gold. And I always remembered that. Um, And what it does is it, you know, A, it helps forest fires, like I said, not be so bad. But two, it helps the pine cones open up that can only open up when it's like over a certain amount of hundreds of degrees. Um, So it's this idea of destruction bringing forth new life uh, that like we were like, well, there's a song in there somewhere. It's from where we grew up. It's from our soul our heart experience and it just so happens to be about you know like losing loved ones you know me and james have both gone to a bunch of funerals in the last few years for members of our family some that died of a nice ripe old age and some that died far too soon um and the whole song has just grown out of that seed of the feeling you feel when you drive past someone's house that you loved and they don't live there anymore because they're gone uh mm-hmm. and in this song it's specifically because they're not with us anymore but it could just be someone who moved away it's about that feeling that when you see that house and then all this stuff just kind of blossoms in your mind. And that's what that song is. And that's why we try to make it sound the way it sounds. Uh, it's very, we recorded this one. We do a lot in big studios and a lot in our friends' home studios. But Control Burn, we were supposed to record it with a really great friend of ours, this great producer. Um, and he just so happened to not be able to make it. He canceled on us. And instead of like pushing it for a few months and putting this song out in October or something, we decided after practice one day to just do it in James's house. Uh, and that's where we recorded our folk record, Pine Barrens Volume 1. We never recorded our original material in his house without a producer, without someone bringing their whole studio into his house and paying them. And we did this just me and him and a couple computers uh, and like, you know, a candle and like a couple beers and uh it's one of my favorite sounding singles we put out like since we started the band like six years ago. So, uh, you know, we're just glad that people dig it and thank you for spinning it. 